Hi everyone, welcome back or indeed welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel already, then please go and do that now. Let's get those numbers up, people. I've got more views than I've got subscribers, so it'd be really good if you're going to view, please subscribe. You know you want to. So anyway, guys, oh, let me start off by telling you I have just made the most delicious tasting and smelling cheese and herb scones. They didn't quite rise to the way I wanted them to, but they taste lovely. So today's video is a collective haul and it's things from Boots, the uh, supermarket, no Julie, the drugstore as they call it in America, or High Street Chemist as we call it here, and a sh shop called B&M Stores. Now, I'm not going to promise that all of it's exciting because... Mostly it's things that a girl just needs with the odd little bit thrown in. So let's get started. These first things are not from either of them shops. They're from Tesco's and they are good old boxes of tissues because Julie constantly has a running nose because one, we're getting into hay fever season and two, I've got this nasally lovely sinus thing that I've had for like what seems forever. Sorry, my jumper's riding up. Next up, we have got... Now, don't wet yourself with excitement. Hay fever tablets. If you're thinking to yourself, Julie, why have you got three boxes of hay fever tablets? But the answer to that, again, is because I bloody well need them. Every single day, man. I mean, you can probably hear it. So, hay fever tablets. Pound shop. Three pound. Can't argue. And again, you're on the edge of your seat with excitement, aren't you? Because it's toothpaste! Synthodyne Pro Enamel Toothpaste. This is quite pricey stuff to buy. But again, I bought this in B&M stores. And it cost... I don't even know what it was, actually. But it was nowhere near as expensive. So I thought, get yourself a wee bargain, hen. Buy that toothpaste. And next up, I, take it out, I took it out the packaging on video that my dad walks in with my post cheers for that dad is the Glade colour and fragrance candles so I saw this in B&M stores obviously it was out for Christmas but anyway still love a bargain and it looks like this and it's got these lovely silhouettes on it so it's got like the window scene with the Christmassy trees and then the lovely fireplace with the fire going so you like this candle and it changes colours. Smells of mulled wine. Love, 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 love. Next up, for you chocolate lovers out there, and if you watch my March favourites, is Cadbury's Dinky Double Deckers. Just because. And then some Easter related little treats are mini speckled eggs and this is in the Paw Patrol and this is for someone very special to me a little special person and another little special person and I got them some little tone ones quite cute isn't it let's hope they like them now can we just take a moment to appreciate how absolutely adorably cute these little mason jar candles are this one is in the scent lemon meringue Hi. And this was only a pound from B and M stores. Actually, no. I tell you why. This is from Pound Stretchers. Pound Stretchers. And it smells a lava, lava, lovely. And I mean, how could you not? And then when the candles burn out, you scoop all of it out, and you've got yourself a wee mason jar. Groovy. Uh, the other one I bought was coconut. Again, only a pound. Sucker for cute packaging too. So that was everything that I got from b &M stores. Now we are going to move on to a boots. I could go nuts in boots, but I had to name myself in. Let's get the first thing out of the way. Being a girl and the joys of life, we've got the always. I particularly like these always infinity smart foam pads 
again, something essential in every person's life is a good toothbrush. You should always go for medium bristled toothbrushes unless you're obviously a child, then you should use like, you know, the lighter ones. But my dentist was telling me that medium is the way forward unless you're using an electric toothbrush. But I don't know too much about that because I don't use one. And then what do we got in here? We have two of these because it's good to stock up. Being on the Isle of Sky, I mean, you can get this Bastille's dry shampoo, but when you're away in Inverness or Glasgow or somewhere, it's always good to stock up or do an online shop. So I got me some two, I got me two, some two, well English, Julie, got me two Bastille dry shampoos in the blush scent because these are my favourite ones. And these are 150 mils, so they're not as big and handy for travelling. Leave one at my boyfriend's when I go down there. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, excuse me, my nose, see what I mean? Oh, I have to do that, please excuse me. And then we have The Righteous Body Butter by Soap and Glory. I don't know if you, uh, if I've got any um, international viewers, I don't know if you get Soap and Glory other than in the UK, but you can probably get it on Amazon, you know, if you don't get Boots or Soap and Glory's website. This smells amazing. This is their original scent. They've got like a, um, is it Lime Crush, which is okay, but I particularly like this because I love the Misty or Eau de Parfum perfume oh. and um, it smells like that but this is £10 for how many? 300 millilitres so that's great so I got myself one of them even though I don't need any body butters because I got so much for Christmas and my birthday and I am working my way through it and my ultimate favourite body butter is Ritual's Sakura Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom just saying. Next up, I got me a heat protector spray. I don't buy any particular brand of heat protector spray. It's just good to have one to protect the old hair. I have very limp, dry hair. And because I put blonde in it, I need to have this. So I went and bought the up to 330 Celsius protected shine heat protected spray, satin soft and ultra shine finish by V05. So here we go. The one I'm using just now is a fudge one. It's called fudge, I'm not swearing at you. And I got that, I think I got that in an online order, possibly from Feel Unique, not too sure. But it's getting to the end of its life there, so I need to do another one. Next up is just something that I like to have, and it is the original antibacterial hand gel. It's just handy. You know, have it beside your bed and then if you quickly do something, you don't need to wash your hands every two minutes. And next up, this is something new and I've never tried it, so thought I'd give it a go. I have ran out of my trusty Elemis Pro Cream Cleanser and I haven't gone around to repurchasing it yet. Cannot tell you how gutted I am. Anywho, I saw this in Boots and I thought I'd give it a go as I already used her micellar water to remove my eye makeup and stuff. So this is the Garnier Skin Active Marcellar Cleansing Gel Wash. Even for sensitive skin, removes makeup, cleanses and soothes. Rinse off. It's no perfume, but it says it's got grape extract in it. And how this works is... Oh, how to use it. You apply to a wet face, foam up with water and massage gently in circular motions on your face and rinse off. So I'll give that a go and I'll let you know how I get on with it. And this is 200 millilitres. I can't remember how much it was. Let me just look and I will tell you. Where is it? Where in here is it? Oh, £2.65 it was because it was on offer. So, bargain. Also got me a little £3 off match made foundation, which I probably won't use. When does it run out? It's valid until tomorrow, so I won't be using it. Then I have heard about these things, the Wet Pro Brush Detangle Professional for healthier, more beautiful hair, no snags, no tangles. So I thought I'd give this a go. They had this size and they had the bigger one. I have a tangle tease, but I thought I'd give this a go. So I'll let you know how I got on with that as well. 
And then next up are these World Strongest Extra Strong Dental Floss things. Once the dentist told me that I should floss my teeth, I've tried the tape flossing and I just can't get grips with it. I just don't know how you do it. But these are really, really good and they also come with mint flavour. I've tried Tesco's own brand and I've tried Asda's own brand and they're just not as good. So I got two bags of those. And they're falling off. And the other thing I got was the Schmolder & Cole Waterproof Eyeliner. I think it's just in black by Soap and Glory as I've heard that this is really good as you can see I haven't opened it so I'll let you know how I get on with that and then another thing that I saw at the till <laughs> is this Garnier Skin Active New Moisture Balm Protect Multi Protecting Hydrating Mist Anti UV SPF 30 Anti Population Antioxidant for even over makeup oh will we give it a try do it on camera since I've got my face on Oh, I, think I totally missed my face. Oh, it smells nice anyway. Okay, and this is for dehydrated skin. And it says it's suitable for sensitive skin. And it says, shake well before use, which I didn't. Close your eyes and pinch your lips together during the application. Spray evenly on the whole face at a minimum distance of 15 centimeters. Do not inhale, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. So that's handy. It'll be good for when it gets warmer, if it gets warmer. And last but not least, I picked up these again that were at the till. These are lovely. These are the Bounce Energy Balls in Coconut and Macadamia Protein Bliss. And I picked up three of those because they're lovely. Well, that's the video for today, guys. So as I said, please go and like, subscribe share leave comments down below click the little bell button that'll tell you when i upload other videos i mostly upload videos i work full time so on my two days off which are either a weekend or two days through the week i tend to upload then because i've got more time and yes um tomorrow's video i think is going to be possibly another tag video but i shall give you a heads up on that on facebook which is julie barber you can follow me on over there and on my Instagram, which is makeup, I am so bad at this. What I'll do is I'll put my Instagram there for you people because I've actually got two and I get mixed up. And you can also follow me on Twitter, which is ju at Julie underscore Barber as well. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.